Now that is a better looking intro. Hello everyone and welcome to my Mario Golf Toadstool Tour walkthrough here. Um, what I'm going to be doing in here is not so much a walkthrough as it is course strategy for all the courses of the game. Um, I'm going to be going through like the weaker characters for the easier courses and the stronger characters for the harder courses. Or at least I think. That's just how I, I kind of have things planned out at the moment. I don't know, I tend to do things as I go anyway. Um, so let's just start out, uh, wait, I'm gonna actually do the Star Tournament, I'm gonna mention that right now. I already did all the regular tournament, but the Star Tournament is basically the same, only it's got tournament greens, and, uh, you play from the back tees. So, why I'm gonna do those instead of the regular tournament, um, is because, uh, they're harder, so if I, if you can do these, you can do any of them. Um, Here's the controls for the game, left and right, aim left and right, uh, oh, to do that zoom thing that I did there, you just press the X button, uh, to change the power, like on that meter, the measurement, press the R button or the L button, and you'll be able to see that little arrow thingy move there, and that's the power gauge, uh, measurement thing that will give you the best estimate you can get, and press the B button to power shots, but you only got six of them, but if you hit a shot perfectly using that power gauge, at the bottom there, uh, you won't use a power shot. Um, to curve your shots in any direction, like, uh, we'll say I want to make it, uh, whoops, I want to make it right to left. So I'll use the control pad, or the, I should say the D-pad, and press it to the right. See that at the bottom right corner there? Yeah, that thingy. And uh, when I do the shot, then I have to hold the control stick off to that side to uh, match that curve. Um, adjusting this aiming line like this just gives you a general idea, just like uh, adjusting the aiming marker down there. Uh, so it's not necessary to do, but I recommend that you do it for the best estimate. But uh, I think that's about it for, oh yeah, the change clubs, press up and down on the control stick. Uh, that's about it. Now let's get this started, baby. Uh, I recommend you just play your shot to the, your first shot to the right of that tree there, otherwise the tree will be in your way, and that won't be very good. Yeah, next shot, of course, is going to be right on the green. Aim straight towards the pin. No exceptions, because your ball is going to be moving uphill towards the pin. So you really don't want uh, too much left to right break on the putt that's coming up. And your putt just goes straight down the hill. At least if you leave it right dead, it will. And yeah, if it goes uphill, then you just have um, aim with a little more power and stuff like that. If it's on a side hill lie accidentally, you'll eventually have some of those eventually. You're going to have to compensate by aiming more towards the uphill side. Alright. For this one, you want to aim towards about here, I'd say. I think that is a wise investment of your money and time there. And uh, also, always make sure to pay attention to the wind in the upper right corner. Um, the wind will always push your ball in the direction of the wind. Who would have guessed, eh? Um, and another thing is that I always use manual swing. Um, so I'm able to, get to control the spin of my ball if I so desire, like right there. I pressed A, B, then B, B to, on that meter at the bottom there to control the spin of it. Uh, that, that's why I like using manual over uh, auto, because um, I can control the ball however I wish. Uh, except for on putts. Putts are the same for no matter what you use. Ah! Oh, you stinker! Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is a golf game. Uh, a lot of people don't like golf, or at least a lot of gamers don't seem to like golf, unless they, they like Tiger Woods or Hot Shots or something like that. Well, this kind of reminds me of Hot Shots golf in a way, in the way that it's like a crazy style of golf game. Oh, uh, by the way, in the rain, 
the rain lowers your ball's flight, like its height, and how far it goes in the air, uh, sometimes. But since I was a downhill shot, it didn't affect it one bit. Uh, okay, now let's see. See there's a side hill break there? Um, the closer those dots are together, um, the more break there is. Like, this has got a pretty decent amount of break, but, it, but it's raining, and rain does affect the break. It makes it break less. So I'm going to try aiming it about here, and since it's also uh, wet because of the rain, you have to aim with more power, or hit with more power. Like, maybe about there will do. Let's see how it goes. Yeah! Birdies for the win! I am a happy little Koopa. Look at me dance! And... Next hole! Yeah, as you can see, I'm just playing through the game just to show you how, uh, or I should say where to place the ball. Uh, like this one. You can try and get it over the bunker like that. That might be the better choice. But the safer players will want to play it back behind the bunker. Uh, since I'm a safe, whoops, <laughs> since I'm the safer kind of player, I would recommend that you play it like this. Yeah! <clears throat> but that's just me as the teacher. But if you want to uh, get a cl get closer to the hole so you have an easier shot to the hole, then by all means do so, because being closer to the hole does mean the sh that the shot will be easier. Uh, I think this is going to be pretty good. It's going to have a lot of roll to it, though. Uh, but that's pretty good. Nine feet away. Uh, pretty good side hill break here. Uh, hey, get out of the way, Minos! Oh, by the way, to adjust the angle like this that I've been doing, like this and stuff like that, just use the C-stick. Just gently zoom in by pressing up or pull back by pressing back, you know, pull back the camera. You control the camera, not the game. And, and this really helps your putting and all sorts of stuff in the game, depending on the shot. And I knew that was going in. That wasn't that hard of a putt. I am a happy little Koopa there. Oh, by the way, to unlock star characters like I use, you just have to beat them in uh, the match game mode, like the versus character mode. It's uh, It gets harder depending on which character you play against. Uh, but hey, that's part of the game, you know. But that's how you unlock them. But uh, what you're watching right now will basically help you unlock those characters because I'm showing you how to do course for uh, how to have course strategy and stuff like that. Like for this one, to gain a little more distance because of the wind, I'm going to press down on the D-pad to give it a little more height. See that on the bottom right corner like that? And I also use the power shot to also gain a little more power. But since there's some trees in my way there, I'm going to curve it from right to left as well, just to make sure that it doesn't hit the trees. And to make sure it gets on the green, or at least I think it will get on the green, I'm going to put Super Topspin on it. Here we go. Like that, and let's see how it goes. It probably won't go on the green, but I could be mistaken. I think it's going to end up a little bit short. Yeah, just a little bit short, but that's alright. Um, I think I'm going to putt from the fairway, just because I don't have much fairway to go through. Uh, I, I love putting. Putting's a lot easier to judge than a chip shot on these long shots. Uh, and I'm going for eagle, so... Yeah! Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. Dang it! That's not going to make it to the hole whatsoever because I was putting through fringe and the fairway and stuff like that. When you putt through things other than the green, it'll slow down the ball. So you have to compensate for it depending on how long the grass is cut. Uh, it's mostly a feel thing, so that's pretty hard to explain. Uh, this might be good. Yeah! I am a happy little Koopa. Look at me dance! Woohoo! And I'm a birdie too! 